Good evening and welcome. My name is Jenny McCormack and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley and that's in Northamptonshire here in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us. It is Thursday evening the 6th of June 2024. And the stamp set that we've been using this week is called Adventurous Sky. Sorry. Uh, it's this one here. It has 13 stamps in the set. And as well as including a Father's Day and a birthday sentiment, there are three aeroplane images and three sets of clouds. Obviously, you could use the clouds for other cards, hot air balloon cards for example, or any scenic cards, um, whatever you might prefer. And there is also a set of dies which I talked about during our live on Monday. So let me introduce those to you. So this is the stamp set as it is stamped out. And then these are the dies. So what I do like about this um, as well as the fact that they're airplanes and they're nice dies is the three main dies cut out the stamped images and then the exactly the same here with the clouds and then you have four, uh, five, sorry, additional dies no, four additional dies, I beg your pardon um, no, there are five <laughs> there's the fuselage die here um, which has been cut in here in the brown and then there's the wings and the landing gear and the engine section which I've cut out in this case in a metallic piece of card and then there's also a propeller die that actually cuts two propellers at the same time especially because they're so small um, and this is just one of them on its own and then this is the little die for the banner, which you can tow, if you wish. And then there's the banner shape. And that was the die that I couldn't find on Monday, because I pop popped it back in the wrong set. That'll be why. So, good evening, Caroline. Um, I'm assuming it's a Caroline, but it could well be Lexi or anybody else. <laughs> So let me just find us on the my phone so I can see who's commenting. Excellent. There we go. Oh, and Zana. Thank you, Zana, for joining us. So I really do, well, I like everything about this set. I love the stamps and I love the dies. And, of course, at the moment we have the bundle on an additional discount. So when you buy these two together... Um, oh, I've lost my little sheet that had the information on. Here it is. Um, when you buy the two together, it would be fifty pounds and twenty-five pence. So you can take effectively another five pounds off that. So for forty-five pounds, give or take, um, you can buy the stamps and the dies. If you look at it. That means basically the stamps and the dies are basically £22 a piece. So really good value. That's till the end of June. So those are the dies. So today I'm going to use the dies and the papers. And what I really love is the detail. Um, and hopefully you can see, although having cut it in foil maybe wasn't the cleverest thing. But... Um, there's so much detail here across the bottom of the aeroplane um, base here and the wings, these struts, it's very, very fine lines here and even the detail around the engine housing. So I'm going to be using this and I'm also going to be using the papers for our card this evening. So let's get cracking. This was the one that I did on Monday. So you can see that here on Facebook or you can hop to my YouTube channel and I've used grey granite and smoky slate to colour those aeroplanes in 
and there were some great samples on my Facebook page of ones that had been created on Tuesday and we'll be doing this again tomorrow, Friday, at the Lounge Cafe Bar in Brackley and also next Monday in Toaster at Watling Street Village. So I've got some of the papers here, as I said I haven't got many because we used them all up but I'm thinking of using this lovely cloud design in a landscape format and then I've cut out some elements of um, the aeroplane so I've cut this is in real red I've cut the wings in champagne foil hello Fran thanks for joining us and then I've got sorted bits and pieces so I've got a propeller in foil but it's a slightly different colour it's a blue grey colour that's from our um, mixed pack of foils I've got our little banner holder here and a happy birthday sentiment now I'm not sure all of that is going to fit on my card uh, let's have a look it's not, is it? But what I can do is chop my banner down a little bit. Um, so let's play with that. Now, this goes on here really easily. All you want to do is add glue to the back of the engine housing here. And if you look at this, this end piece and the other part of the wing fits on there perfectly so you don't really want to be doing anything with the any glue on the back of the top of the wing or really the bottom because there's most of it is outside of the backing so some glue on here and a little bit of glue on this piece here the tail piece will do the job hopefully you can see that now we've got the propeller and what I thought I would try <laughs> is putting the propeller on with a little brad. Now somewhere in this craft room I have a little packet of tiny brads, mini brads they were called. I don't think we do them anymore, I think we stop them. I'm hoping they might come back. Um, so what I'm thinking is I have found another Brad. it's not one of the me ones but it's the smallest one that I could find and what I've done is just with a pokey tool is just poked a small hole in this centerpiece if I lift this up so there's like a, a round centerpiece if you can see that on there and I do have a small hole punch here if it's a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch um, and I realize that's almost the same size as that circle so I just used a pokey tool and poked a small hole through there and then I have popped that brad through that center piece I'm not sure whether you can see that or not really but there's a little brad if I put it there perhaps you can see a little bit better like so. So what I'm going to do is put this together and then either poke a hole or punch a hole in here and put my brad through so that propeller will spin around. That's my idea. I did wonder whether I want to put two of these so that I've got um, a silver bit on both sides and also make this a little bit stronger because obviously it's a very narrow piece of card so I might look as to whether I can do that so let's first of all cut this piece and what I think I'll do to give myself more space is I'll make this almost the size of our card So to cut this 
it would be ten and a half so I'm going to take a millimeter off that so it's just a bit shorter and then the same this way I've just turned this over to make life easier so it would be 10.85 so I'm going to do 10.75 and then just bring that up to there now I have actually on this trimmer I have got my metric measurements down this right hand side so I could have been more accurate if I wanted to and cut that to size Okay, so here are our clouds and I'm going to pop this on here so it's literally just a millimetre, not even that short of the edge of the card and let's just add some of our seal to that and remember just to flick that away to stop it spinning back okay so just going to take my time and position this carefully on there so it's got half a millimetre basically all the way around now I'm going to put this together first and then see so it may be that I can't get my sentiment in um, we'll give it a go so as I said what you want to do is add glue around the engine housing and just on this back piece here so I do have some glue so I hope everybody is keeping well can't believe it's Friday tomorrow already okay just making sure that I get the right piece so it's this bit here right at the back so right at the front and right at the back but not the front edge actually it would work on there I think and so it's just going to take my time again so I'm going to put this lining up with the bottom line up the wheels and then that piece should go on there and I've used wet glue so that I do have a little opportunity to move it I'm going to move it too far but if you needed to just position it a little bit better let me turn that over so you can see so cute there we go all right okay so let's have a go with this propeller so I think I'm going to try um, putting one on either side so what I'm actually using for my work surface is like a foam it's like a display display board um, so I poked a hole in the bottom and then I'm just going to thread this through so I would normally take it off there but because it's so fine I don't want to do that if I can get those pinched back together hopefully enough I need to take my glasses off though folks So this is definitely better with the mini brads, I can assure you. Um, what, um, let's see, I might have to abandon my idea. Or let's just try putting these two together first. Let's do that. I've got some spare ones here, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the middle and the ends of the 
oops, one propeller piece, which I managed to knock over. And I'm going to try and put these two together. Let's pick up that odd bit of glue. And I always recommend, where possible, is not to do it up in the air, is to have one piece at least flat down. I might live to regret this, but there we go. I'm assuming that this is fairly symmetrical. I mean, it should be in real life, shouldn't it? But who knows? Okay. So, there is my propeller. And I'm just going to do the same thing. So I'm going to poke a hole. I'll do it up here. As I say, luck would have it, this is like a foam pad behind. Okay. Let's take it off this one. See if I can get that. Through that little hole, which I can. Okay. So there we go. There's our little propeller. Hopefully you can see that. So my theory is I'm going to put a little hole in here, thread this through so that propeller will spin. Okay, so this has got now two layers of card. It's got the foil card and the real red card underneath. And I've got a small hole punch. There we go. Ooh, not much to spare <laughs> around the edge, but enough to hold it. That was very close. Okay, so let's pop this through there, like so, and then I need to fold these, these back legs back. Okay, hopefully without bending that. Okay, so I think what I need to do is loosen them slightly, but I want to attach them to the back of this so they don't spin as well. So what's happening at the minute is that they are spinning with that. So... Um, what I'm going to fix this with... I'd like a tiny bit of double-sided tape. So you know me, Thursday night always quite experimental. Um, so let's see if I can just move that. If I need to put it underneath or on top, on top, maybe. Okay, so there's one of the legs, just lightly attached, and then I'm just going to bend this one up, and I'm actually going to cut it slightly. Not the best thing really with your scissors, but it can be done. Okay. I'm too tight now. <laughs> hey ho! I'm right, just going to take that away because I want to loosen this up a little bit. So 
that is spinning. Maybe I just need to cut that little bit a bit more. So if you do this, please be careful that you um, watch where the piece goes. I don't want it going into your eye or into an animal or a child, please. Okay, so now we've got our propeller. Cute. Okay. Your best thing for cutting these, by the way, is um, with some wire cutters or something like that, rather than scissors like I'm using. Okay, so now we've got our spinning propeller. Let's see what's going to fit onto our card. So, what I really wanted was that and that and the banner, which I think would work on... It will work on a slimline card. And of course I've just cut up my piece. So I can't use my cloud piece. I could stamp another piece. Let's see if I've got anything else. No. Okay. I might need to do, when I get some more of these papers, I might need to do another one. Because even if I trim this down, it's going to be way off the bottom, isn't it? So it may just be, and that's sort of facing the wrong way now. I don't want to do it. I can make this really small like so let's just give it a go just make it tiny it really does need to be attached to the back So you can see where I'm coming from, can't you? <laughs> it just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit on there. Okay, let me see. I could do flying by to say hi. As a little backing piece. Or to my friend. But let's do that. Because then I only need a smaller piece of card. I might get away with it. So really this would be good as a slimline card. Right, here we got. That's better, isn't it? Flying by to say hi. Gonna stamp that in Pebbled Path. Let's grab a block. down. Can I make mine go up slightly? That's better. Okay. So I'm just going to do this. I think this will work trim it down a little bit I'll keep my happy birthday for another time
make sure I take that piece out that I've just caught in there otherwise I'll wonder why my trimmer isn't cutting okay let's do that on the other side make it nice and straight and I'm thinking I might just sort of put a banner end on here like so there we are okay that's going to fit better isn't it Take it even more of it off, actually. So this is our little barrier, a uh, banner carrier. So I think what I'm going to do is glue that onto there, and then cut off any excess that I need. So tiniest bit of glue on the back of here, just on that little vertical piece. And obviously if you've got some adhesive sheets then that would be a good good way to glue that down anyway but I'm just going to pop it on the edge like that there we go. cute little banner right and then let's see I think I'm going to have to lose that little piece there I suppose it could be at an angle, couldn't it? Like that, what do we think? That sort of works, doesn't it? Are we happy with that, folks? Right, so what I'm going to do is pop my aeroplane up on dimensionals that means my little propeller can still rotate making sure that I don't put any dimensionals right next to where that's going to turn just need to find some bear with me one second just hunting for them on my desk But I think I took them all to coffee and card. So hold on one minute. I'm sorry about that. If in doubt, just open another packet. Oh dear. Right, these are mini dimensionals. There we go. Stay. I could, the large ones would be absolutely fine. But sometimes it's a case of what you can find, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to put one up here. And I've just seen a piece, actually, that I haven't popped out. And in fact, these mini ones are good for those 
wheels. There we go. Where was that piece? That one. There we go. It's funny how I didn't notice that before. Okay, just take those backings off. Sorry to have kept you waiting. And obviously you could mix and match this with the stamped aeroplanes. You could add a few of the clouds as well if you wanted to. Just making sure those are all off. There we go. So I'm not going to have a message at the bottom. So I can keep that fairly central like so and then I can just I mean technically it would be under there wouldn't it so what do we think I quite like it at a bit of an angle and I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals as well and we're done so thank you for joining us I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here although you could actually take that whole sort of end piece out if you wanted to because we're not going to see it I'm going to tuck that under there like that. So I've got it a little bit of an angle, like so. There we go. Very sweet. I'm happy with that and my little spinning propeller. Like that. So there we go. A little bit of fun with the Adventurous Sky dies that go alongside the Adventurous Sky stamp set which is this one here and everybody did such a good job on Tuesday morning um, everybody's card was fantastic and I'm really looking forward to seeing what the ladies do tomorrow on Friday at the Lounge Cafe Bar in Brackley and again on Monday in Toaster so a shame I ran out of paper, but that's the way it goes. Don't worry, I have some more on order. Um, because there's some really nice designs, obviously with the aeroplanes, but also some, um, some maps and things like that. And these little tags as well that you could use. So it's really easy to take a, a section like that, stamp and pop out one or two of these aeroplanes, colour them in, pop them on here with a sentiment. Hello Valerie, I hope you're okay. Thank you for joining me, but I am just <laughs> wrapping up, I'm afraid. Um, so this is the Adventurous Sky bundle. So we have the stamp set here. Those are all the stamped elements. And then we have the die cuts here, this lovely... Um, die cut this comes as two pieces plus the propeller and then I've made this card today so I've actually made my propeller so that it spins like so Ooh, just come slightly apart look I'll add a little bit more glue um, and then I've got the little banner behind fine bye to say hi so it could be Father's Day, birthday, whatever you want it to be, really. Looks great with the foil, doesn't it? Really good. So don't forget, all of our bundles are currently an extra 10% off. So if you buy a stamp and die bundle, instead of 10% off, which is what you normally would get, it's effectively 19% because it's 10% minus 10%. And if you're a demonstrator, that's... Um, a lot more than that's 40% nearly 
so thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to catching up with you next week I look forward to crafting tomorrow and then I've got a card class in Buckingham on Saturday if anybody wants to join me for that I do have a couple of spaces left that's doing the bird houses um, and then I look forward to releasing our next class in box and class and I also have an event with Sam uh, which was in Vista um, but we've had to move it to Evenly so near a Brackley um, which is great for anybody um, on the Brackley side that's on the 22nd of June we have four classes that you can go to it includes um, products for all of those and they're all brand new projects so you won't have seen them before and all featuring new products from the annual catalogue if you're interested in any of those just give me a shout and um, I can send you the information so thank you so much everyone have a great evening I look forward to crafting with you again really soon bye for now <laughs>